will lose our language forever if we don't take drastic steps. So we are considered an endangered language. And one of the indicators that um, puts you in that situation is does anybody in the household under the age of six or over the age of 60 speak, speak the language? And the answer to that is no, we don't. received approval from our Menominee Tribal Legislature to run a one-time immersion program. So we started out with one lead instructor and also we as a tribe hired 10 enrolled tribal members um, that would work with us for a 14-month long immersion program. Our current tribal chairman, uh, Chairman Bisa, was working for a number of years with our state lobbyists and, and the representatives to have College of Menominee Nation be able to license a charter school. And so this, this took a number of years. However, in the summer of 2015, we had gotten word from our, our lobbyists that the Menominee tribe were approved for up to six charter schools. The, Immersion trainees um, are getting pushed uh, very intensely. When you get up in front of people in the community, I want you to feel confident about standing up there, knowing that you have something to offer them. When you get up there, I don't want you questioning yourself, second guessing yourself. That's why you're gonna have a teammate, right? And that's why you're gonna work your butt off here in these next couple months. Faced with this unique challenge in that uh, our project has only been guaranteed to us for 14 months, so we're trying to uh, revitalize our language to uh, 10 individuals in 14 months, so the, the stakes are high and the challenge is great. I thought it would be easier. Um, I, that's what was my expectations was I thought it would be a little easier but now I know different <laughs> it's all it's it is a lot of hard work you really have to want it bad I feel like we hired the right people at the right time to do the right job and, um, so these individuals are going to be given language instruction and also teaching preparation over the next 14 months and you know if this if this comes off as something that is easy for the individual that means there's uh, someone's not doing their job so this should be a challenge for everybody involved and we see it beyond a individual um, achievement or an individual project we see this as a group project and that if it's going to work it's going to be because we're all doing what we're supposed to be doing. We came in and we did find that everybody is at different levels and it's, to me personally, it's, it's helpful. We have a really good group of people and we really work together um, to make sure that no one gets left behind, that if anyone's struggling, we all, we all help the one struggling or the few that are struggling in order to make sure that we're all at the same level. It's probably like 10 or 11 days of instruction, of direct instruction. You know, and look where you're at. When I heard 
Oh, several of you use that third person. That's for me, that's a teaching victory, right? I know Ronco's really pushing us hard. Once you try to push us right to the brink, and I think a lot of us are are pretty close to that. But overall, you know, I I, I could tell told a couple friends, you know, this is probably one of the hardest things I'll ever do in my life. But I know it'll be probably one of the most rewarding things I'll ever do in my life too, and be able to, you know, contribute to the tribe as a whole. My grandma had been involved a lot with the program. Um, and ever since I was small, she was teaching the language. And um, so for me, it's always been a goal and it all came together. Learning about our language and where we are with how many speakers we have left, knowing that it's critical, you know. Uh, I, I take myself back to when I was a child and I remember sitting with my aunties and my grandmas and those ladies spoke Menominee. When I first started, the goal of the program was just to, uh, to, to make it through the four, 14 months. Um, I knew it was going to be a a huge task and um, I realized how much dedication that I would need but now it's the motivation is you know is to never give up um, on the language. This 14 months needs to prepare them for that so a big part of that is language but another big part of that is teaching and not teaching the language but teaching in the language which is a different concept than people are used to right now. As we look forward, we are hoping not only two or three of our top trainees um, will be employed, those are the top trainees will go immediately into the immersion or, or charter school. Um, there they will uh, work on curriculum, translate textbooks, uh, prepare lessons, but we would like to have all of our trainees set up in our daycare, our Head Start, the Menominee Tribal School, and also the Menominee Indian School District. Um, that way we would be able to place all of our trainees into our educational facilities, uh, providing the best language opportunities for our children and, and, and in our community for our tribal members as well. If the tribe decides to fund this program further, uh, this would be a, a great turning point for us and for our tribal members, for our children, uh, to make sure our, our language is, is going to be here, uh, that our language isn't one of hundreds that die each year.